Hey guys and welcome to my channel today. I want to do my before and after of the May declutter challenge. So if you are not familiar, at the very start of May I set myself a challenge that I was going to declutter the worst room in our apartment which was our toddler's bedroom. If you haven't seen the first video, please do check it out. It will be linked in the description alongside week one through four and the progress and how I achieved the finished look. Um, so I just want to say before I jump in that I do have some blog posts for you to check out. I have my May 2018 goals review. So at the very start of the year I set myself some business, personal and also goals for Ava. Um, and I have updated that on my blog. Um, so I'd love if you go over there and check it out. I also have my five baby products that I've been using from birth to two years of age. And I also have over there like... If we went somewhere as a family, there's just kind of like photos and a, a mini review. Um, Tot School, which is like a little bit of like learning through fun that I do with Ava. And um, that sort of stuff over there. Um, I will have my blog link below or irishfamily.com. Also, I am trying my best to be more proactive on Twitter. So if you are on Twitter, my username is or Irish family. I'd love if you come over and let's just chat away on Twitter not really understanding what to do over there but I am doing something and um, so yeah today I want to just to go through what I have done in the declutter challenge so I just want to say before I get into the clip I just filmed and um, that it's not decorated and um, the the purpose of the challenge was only to declutter her bedroom so without further ado I am first going to show you the before and then I will show you the after Here is Ava's room. As you can see, her cot is there against this wall. Essentially, we pull it out because she pulls out stuff. But on the bed, we have a mountain. A huge mountain of things. Then over here, we have bookshelves with DVDs and books and a whole range of stuff. Stuff that we probably don't even use anymore then here we have two side tables or chest of drawers or whatever you want to call them so we have them stacked on top of each other in here we have her her wardrobe that is essentially filled oh the buggy stays there every day unless we're using it so I pull it out I'll show you guys what's in here. So this is her wardrobe. But, unfortunately, it's full of suitcases. Now, so in here, it's just full of random things. At the top, we've never used those things. We have some bags some nappies, some plot nappies. Down here are all the toys that we received at Christmas that I haven't yet given to her. Um, here we have some bedding and then the bottom two are just shoes. So here comes the big reveal. Now remember it's not decorated but it has changed dramatically. So obviously the main big thing that has changed is the beds that were here are gone. Um, so that was what thankfully one of the first things that happened in its place. Um, so there's 
we'll just work over here first so this is right now where we have her monitor it's on top of like empty boxes and then down here as her tot school items then we have um these two boxes here of toys um along with these couple of things around um and then it's the same thing there's just like random little bits of toys and some pillows there her cot her cot is over in this corner um What's different is that she has started sleeping with a duvet now. Um, and then over here, we have these um, these bookcases. So if you remember, um, they were both extremely full. So we now have these two shelves here are the DVDs. This one is Ava's books. And then rest of them probably are all my stuff. Um, or thereabouts and then basically this one here is empty say for a few things like but these are decorative things and in this bag here are clot nappies that I haven't gone through that I also haven't gone through the contents of these two but I plan to do that um when we are decorating and then over here we have her closet areas so you would have seen me obviously do these in here it's Still a bit messy, but it's kind of organized chaos, I suppose. Um, at the bottom, we have my shoes. This shelf here are items to be sold, but I actually haven't put them up for sale yet. Here we have extra bedding um, for Ava. Here we have toys and shoes that we have that she hasn't played with, or she's still too, um, they're still too big for her. The next shelf up again, these are clothes um, and stuff that are going to be sold and at the very top here um, there's toys and um, a couple of books I need to bring and put in storage um, but basically this her wardrobe is completely full and done now um, so down at the bottom we have some coats these are my craft items here we have some clothes that are currently fitting her um, and at top I just stored this because Robert didn't want to part with it. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. The next time you see this, it will be decorated um, and different because... Let me know, what would you do if so you had this space? I'll just close it now, hold on. If you had this space, what would you do in here? Obviously... If you've been following my challenge, challenge channel, you know that we have um, a chest of drawers out in the living room and also um, an Ikea um, white toy storage um, area. So in my mind, they should come in here. And we do have to keep both of these, um, but we don't have to keep these. We can get rid of these because these are ours. But these two come with the apartment. So we can't get rid of them. Um, so I'd love to hear what you would do. Um, just to kind of let you guys know. So I'm standing at the front door now. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen feet um from the door to the window and going from this wall to this wall is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and a half eleven and a half um so thirteen and eleven and a half feet is the layout so let me know in the comments what you would do with it how would you do it again as i said we can get rid of the bookcases but we can't get rid of these bedside tables she has these toys here and she also has the toys in the living room alongside a chest of drawers as well and this bed this cot turns into a cot bed so we will be keeping this um, and transforming it or transforming it when we feel the time is ready and it's not right now. I know I always get that question when people still see that she has a cot, but we're just not comfortable with her coming out of it and she seems quite happy in it and 
we've already made the progress that she has a duvet now so she's loving that so yeah this is it let me know let me know what you think so there it is guys I mean to me it's like seven million percent better than it was we don't have the beds there's room um so yeah it's great the wardrobes are cleared and um, there's just a couple of things that I have left to sell that I'm going to try sell this month and as I said in the video I'm only giving myself the month of June I haven't put them up yet and um, so today's the third of June and um, so I will give myself till like the first week of July to sell them and um, because I am going to make sure that I take pictures and put them up in the appropriate places and um, this coming like Monday or Tuesday and um, today or tomorrow um, so yeah let me know what you think I did ask for some like suggestions on how you would lay it out and um, we are kind of concerned about her cot her her bed if we put it closer to the window it is kind of drafty and um, so it's not we kind of want to keep it up here so it's probably gonna stay on that wall in the corner and um, that you see Um so as I said we will be removing um, these bookcases and we'll also be bringing in her um the trusty drawers from the the sitting room and also her toys from the sitting room so let me know how you would set that up um it's mainly the bottom near the window that's going to be different um and i have a couple of different decor ideas because it is kind of tough for us because we are renting we can't really put nails in the wall and all that sort of stuff and um, so i've got a couple of stickers and all that sort of stuff coming and um, so hopefully that will help jazz it up a little bit but yeah i'd love to know i'd love to read your comments in the comment section and do give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe if you are new I put out videos three days a week they are mommy lifestyle related so there's like decluttering and cleaning and life with my toddler day in the life's cooking and um, slimming yeah and as I said at the start I do have a blog post which has different content to what I post on YouTube I'm also here on YouTube I am starting to do kind of budgeting like family budgeting type type um, videos so if any of that interests you would love if you would subscribe um, and that's it um, I will talk to you guys very soon bye